Hey there, YouTube surfers. Welcome to the channel. I just wanted to kind of do a different kind of video today. <clears throat> I've been working on finishing my basement here, and uh, there's a lot of a lot of information on YouTube about filling in these uh, end joists. I forgot what they're even called now. Rim joists, there we go. Uh, so I wanted to actually t get a temperature reading since I'm kind of in the middle of doing this just for fun. So these rim joists in your basement are supposed to be filled with uh, insulation. Most of mine are, I'm redoing them. Mine are filled with this bat insulation, which many say is not good, it gets wet and this and that. Um, I don't know, there's there's mixed opinions on this, but I've had this, this home about almost 18 years. Uh, so that's when it was built and it's, uh, you know, I now that I'm finishing the basement, I'm looking at this a little more closely to see, to make it, one, one to make it look nicer, and two, to obviously make it more, uh, you know, insulated. Anyways, I pulled away some of this insulation. Some of it is, there is a little bit of mold on a few pieces, a little dark color, but, I mean, it's not crazy bad it's not there must have got been some moisture uh in some in, at some point in time this one looked fine this one a little little moldy perhaps and some of these other ones are look completely fine so anyway i got my my little temperature laser pointer thing i'm not saying this is 100 percent accurate but it's probably fairly accurate I want to get some different readings based on different materials just for fun. So you can see my walls. It's about 34 degrees outside right now. Fahrenheit. This is 57. If I can get it to focus properly. Uh, so what I did. So let's first of all, let me see. <clears throat> I took the insulation all the way out. And I'm doing that because I'm going to seal the corner. Seal this with caulk first before I put in this, I'm gonna put this foam board in. I got R, it's, I'm putting in an inch and a half, R 7.5. Uh, you can do two inch, you can do one inch. I kinda went in the middle, but let's take a look. So with nothing in there at all, I'm getting 60 degrees. And I just, I didn't put, uh, I didn't put foam around this one yet. I just stuck it in there for the time being. 63 degrees, 64. So there's a good four degree difference between nothing and this. And I'm gonna probably put this bat insulation over the top. They say you should do that for fireproofing, etc. But I'm just really trying to show the temperature differences. Now, for fun, glass block window, you can see there's quite a bit of heat loss or difference, 57 degrees. I also went around, like I mentioned, I'm, I'm caulking these corners when you get up in there. Uh, there you can, I found some gaps. You can actually feel air coming in with your, with your hands. You can feel some air. So I've been, I got some window and door caulk and I'm sealing that up before I do anything. Um, let's take a look over here real quick. So now here's the regular insulation, the bad insulation that's been in there for, like I said, 18 years. You can see it's about 62 degrees. And it, I've noticed it can vary widely, each one vary quite a bit between uh, joists here. Now, again, accuracy of this thing, but 64, 63, so that's pretty close to what it, what the uh, foam board is, is reading. Okay, here's a few more readings. This is, now this particular cavity is 58, 57. So I'm gonna guess when I pull that back, there's gonna be some air leakage there. That's 58-ish, 57. That's quite a difference. Let me just Look at that. <laughs> That's kind of mind-blowing. There's a five-degree difference. So I'd say there's definitely a problem with that one. 
which I will address. 60, look at this difference. 57, 63, <laughs> it gets real cold here, a little bit warmer here, and then I do have another window over here. Again, these windows are 55, 56, 59. Even this, this corner here that's closest to the window is warmer than the one that's two over. So that, yeah, there's definitely, definitely a problem there. Um, anyway, I just never seen any videos where people have actually looked at the temperatures and I thought it might be interesting to some people. I know my channel is more about electronic type reviews and stuff, but I just thought I'd share something like this in case you find it interesting. So what I'm planning to do is, again, this is that foam board I put in. I'm gonna put foam board in all these where I possibly can. Some of them it's gonna be difficult to do that, but uh, well, first I'm gonna caulk, then I'm gonna put the foam board, then I'm gonna put this insulation back over it, or I might replace some of them if they're, you know, moldy, whatever. But anyway, there you go. Now, if you're wondering, now if, now if you're wondering uh, how much difference it would actually make, uh, probably quite a bit, I would say. Uh, you know, some of these, like I showed though, sometimes the difference isn't that great between that one and it's definitely. Uh, <clears throat> but at least if you have, at least if you have the bad insulation, that's, you definitely should at least have something up there. Um, but let me go back, you know, now that I say that, let me go back over here real quick. What was this Baird one? This is the same, oh, this is a, uh, a west facing wall, in case you're curious. 59, that's with nothing, <laughs> but I did seal it. I did go in and clock this one. So just sealing it alone does help. Anyway, there you go. Do with that information what you will. Have a great day, bye. Oh, real quick, I want to mention, this is the caulk that I chose to use. This was one of those, staring at a wall of caulk at the home improvement store. And there was a guy there who said GE is a good brand. I think this was like the most expensive <laughs> silicone window and door caulk they had, unfortunately. But he said it's really good stuff. So, that's what I'm using. going to give it a try. And also, uh, real quick, my dog helping me out. Uh, this is what I'm gonna use to put around the foam board, window and door. Again, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm gonna give it a shot. While I was there, I picked up uh, some big gap filler. So I'm thinking like, Areas where I have, you know, like wires coming in to the house, you know, maybe put some of this around that. It's never been done, so why not? Or maybe even some of these areas where I can't, you know, get the foam board and that's another possibility. I don't know. I'm not going to fill a giant. It says up to three inches. I'm not going to fill something like this with this, but you know, maybe some smaller areas I could do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one.